Hello friends, welcome back to your destination for holistic growth. Let's continue our journey and embark into the fascinating world of equity mutual funds. Today, we're diving into the diverse categories of equity mutual funds in India. Get your thinking caps on, cause it's quiz time. Question one, which type of equity mutual fund primarily invests in stocks of companies across various sectors and market capitalizations? A, large cap funds. B, mid cap funds. C, small cap funds. D, multi cap funds. Answer, D, multi cap funds. These funds offer diversification across different market segments, providing exposure to a wide range of stocks. Question two, which equity mutual fund category is considered suitable for investors seeking stable returns with relatively lower risk? A, sectoral funds. B, large cap funds. C, small cap funds. D, value funds. Answers. Answer, B, large cap funds. These funds primarily invest in large, well-established companies known for their stability and consistent performance over time. Question three, which factor should investors consider when determining the time horizon for investing in equity mutual funds? A, current market conditions. B, their age. C, investment goals. D, past performance of funds. Answer, C, investment goals. Understanding your investment objectives and time horizon helps in selecting the appropriate equity mutual fund category aligned with your financial goals. Remember, your investment journey should always be guided by your personal aspirations and financial objectives. Question four, which equity mutual fund category is known for its potential to deliver high returns over the long term, but comes with higher volatility and risk? A, large cap funds, B, Small cap funds, C, balanced funds, D, index funds. Answer, B, small cap funds. Investing in smaller companies can offer significant growth opportunities, but it's essential to be prepared for higher fluctuations in value. Question five, what behavioral aspect is crucial for investors to practice when investing in equity mutual funds? A, panic selling during market downturns. B, regular portfolio monitoring. C, impulsive buying based on short-term news. D, sticking to a long-term investment strategy. Answer, D. Sticking to a long-term investment strategy, avoiding knee-jerk reactions to market fluctuations, and staying committed to your investment plan can lead to better outcomes over time. Patience and discipline are key virtues in the world of investing. Question six, which equity mutual fund category focuses on investing in stocks of companies operating within a specific sector or industry? A, large cap funds. B, mid cap funds. C, sectoral funds. D, hybrid funds. C, sectoral funds. These funds offer targeted exposure to particular sectors, allowing investors to capitalize on growth opportunities within specific industries. Question seven, or which equity mutual fund category typically invests in stocks that are trading at a discount to their intrinsic value? A, growth funds. B, value funds. C, index funds. D, and dividend funds. Answer, B, these funds follow a value investing approach, seeking undervalued stocks with the potential for future appreciation. To question eight, which equity mutual fund category aims to replicate the performance of a specific stock market index? A, large cap funds. B, 
Sectoral funds. C. Index funds. D. Growth funds. Answer. C. Index funds. These funds passively track the performance of a designated market index, offering broad market exposure with low management fees. Question 9. Which behavioral bias should investors be wary of when making investment decisions in equity mutual funds? A. Overconfidence bias. B. Confirmation bias. C. Hurting behavior. D. All of the above. Answer. D. All of the above. Behavioral biases can cloud judgment and lead to suboptimal investment decisions if not addressed consciously. Engagement line. Stay vigilant and mindful of biases that may influence your investment choices. Question 10. Which factor is not typically considered when determining the suitability of an equity mutual fund for an investor? A. Risk tolerance. B. Investment goals. C. Past performance of the fund. D. Age of the investor. Answer. C. Past performance of the fund. While past performance may provide insights, it should not be the sole determinant of fund suitability. Past performance is not indicative of future results. So there you have it, folks. Follow on quiz video to our previous video on equity mutual funds. How did you fare? Remember, each question holds a nugget of wisdom to help you navigate the financial markets with greater confidence. Stay tuned for more such exhilarating content on financial literacy. Until next time, keep learning and investing wisely. If you liked our content, then say it by hitting that like button. Subscribe our channel and share the knowledge with your friends and family to help them become better investors.